Welcome RuneScapers. Mod Ashes and I are here to talk to you about the achievement system and what that means to you. So, Ash, why are we changing the achievements? Or what are we doing with the achievement system? So, at the moment, it's all kind of spread out between what the players know as diaries. But then we also have things like raids, other bits and pieces that give you sort of a, a nice chime of, oh, you've completed something. But what we want to actually do is try and collaborate all of that so it's nice and easy for the players to find it in one place. So that they can look at quite quickly and find something they want to do in a very short-term game. Okay, how are you planning on making it easier for them to find something to do there? It's going to be something similar. We're toying with the idea of potentially putting another parent interface in, which might actually sort of expand the ribbon a little bit. So I guess obviously the players, if you don't want that, let us know. Other than that, it's looking somewhat similar to the diaries as they as they see it currently in game. We're not going to try and stray too far from that, but we're going to try and collaborate it all so it's all in a nice sort of layout. You've got nice categories that you can choose between. For instance, you've got like your areas now rather than you know, you've got a drop down for, for each actual area. That will now be an area category. And we also have things like the completionist sort of capes requirements and stuff will be another category. D&D, skills and that sort of stuff will all be nicely tied into one sort of section and you can quickly browse through it. Um, you can find stuff that you need. So is there anything else that's coming out with the achievement system? So we also plan to add, I guess, a recommendation system. It will essentially show some achievements that we feel the player can achieve in a very short-term game. This will populate to, to so many that essentially the player can do. You will also show the last sort of achievements the player has already completed and within that we can kind of kind of get a slight idea of what the player's up to so we can recommend certain achievements for them to sort of go and do that we feel are very short term, it's going to be very quick for them, they can sort of pop in, do these, get back out if they want to or move on to something next that, that essentially will show up for them. We've been talking a lot in the office about the path system where we can chain together a series of achievements. Uh, basically okay. forge them into a path. So if you had, for instance, a God Wars dungeon path, we've populated the path with a series of achievements that will get you to God Wars dungeon and get you into that content and play, get you up to the levels you require, any quests like things like Edgar's Ruse and stuff like that. And by the end of it, you've gotten to a point where you should be satisfied enough that you can take on the God Wars dungeon. Obviously, new achievement system. You've talked a lot about converting things that exist, like the tasks and raid feats, things like that, are we going to be getting new achievements? We're hoping that we can add a few more achievements in as we go through, time depending, as always. But I think what it will be is essentially more high-level achievements. Um, you've got all the, all the diaries and stuff at the moment that we are converting to achievements. We feel they're, they're from the lower point when you start up to a reasonably good sort of standard of quite high level. So I guess if we added anything new in, we would try and aim it more to the sort of higher end area of our player base. And on that note, if you guys have got any suggestions for achievements that you'd want to send in, just uh, get in touch with us on Twitter or Reddit or through the forums. Obviously, online achievements systems are pretty common. Uh, a lot of them come with a gamer score or some way of showing off to your friends how many achievements you've unlocked. Is yep. there going to be a similar sort of thing? We've obviously got the full count of, you know, you've done 50 out of X number of achievements. We're also toying with the idea of potentially having a score that goes with them, and you can kind of use that as a, as a rate against your friends as well. Obviously, that's something you guys uh, would like some feedback on if, if it's worthwhile to see, but obviously at, at a very bare minimal, we will be sticking in. You have completed um, X number of Y, essentially, so 50 out of 100 or whatever. Next question, I guess, is what progress have we made so far? So we're quite early in development still. At the moment we've sort of converted most of the old sort of diaries into our new achievement system. We're working on the interfaces at the moment to make sure they're crisp, clean and user friendly. Then our next sort of thing will be the sort of the recommendation system and the pathing system. Uh, we'll try and get that down to a very nice kind of nice flow for the players. It's obviously very early days and we're sort of taking the first steps into this project, but that means that your feedback is going to be really useful to us right now. So to summarise, we'd love to hear your thoughts on new achievements that we could implement with the release of the new system. Also your thoughts on the path system and how you would use that and what sort of paths you'd like to see that would guide you towards content. And also we'd like to hear your thoughts on whether or not you want a full 
game of score style system in there or whether X of Y achievements unlocked is desirable enough for you. Obviously any other questions or comments or feedback you've got on this, leave them in the comments section below or send us a message over Twitter and Reddit or on the game forums. Thanks very much.